Robert and today the lesson is how to get better legato today. So the trick to it to me is as always keeping things musical. I want things to sound good when I play them. You can obviously sit there and practice the chromatic legato runs if you want and you will get amazing results from it. I guarantee it. Um, to me I just don't like practicing those things. They're, they're not fun and I just don't enjoy them as much. So I have an exercise for you here that's going to have you moving all over the guitar neck and I would definitely break them down into small sections and learn them that way but um, you know it's just it's kind of cool it, it sounds musical to me I can hear the music within it versus just the because I don't play stuff like that I would play something like um... to me I like that a lot better if I was to pick something picking so here's the lick like I said I'll give you a close-up there will be tabs for um, probably the first half of the lick. So I, I don't want to just give it all to you. A lot of it is I want you to use your ear. So here's the lick. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I promise you it'll really, really get your legato working, working hard for the money. So here's the lick. Okay, so let's break this. Look down, so it's basically just a bunch of repeating pattern sequences within a scale. The scale is going to be, we're just going to do demixolydian this time. Or it could be G major, whichever way you want to look at it. So, the first one is this kind of a big strip. And what I do is I do go 7, pull off to 3, hammer on 5, hammer on 7, and then pull up back to five, back to three. That would be one time through of the pattern. Okay, let me get that going back up. And that's kind of the building block of the whole thing. So get to where you can do that one fairly. Consistency, uh, fairly consistently, and just get to where you have a, a decent amount of speed at it. Or if you don't have speed, use this more as a a practice and endurance thing. So now we're going to take that same whole step, whole step pattern, move up here. This time we're going to do 12, pull off 8, hammer on 10, hammer on 12. Okay. Then you're going to pull back off to 10, back to 8. So, so we have... And um, one thing I'd point out is I only picked the first note. So if you watch, my right hand really doesn't do much. Then you're going to shift all the way back down here to this little shape. You're going to do three pull off two, all in the high E, hammer on three, hammer on five. I'm sorry, three pull off two, a five pull off two. Hammer on three, hammer on five, pull back off to three, back to two. Okay, and all these you do twice in a row. So then from there, you come back up here. I know we have you jumping around a lot. But this is going to work on clean, getting a real clean legato and a very strong legato because this is all your left hand. So now we're going to jump back up here. We're going to do 10 pull off 7 on the high E. Hammer on 8. Hammer on 10. Pull back off to 8. Back to 7. Okay, so what we have so far at kind of like a medium speed would be this. Okay, now this time we're going to change strings and go up here to the B. We're going to do 8, pull off 5, hammer on 7, hammer on 8, pull back off to 7, back to 5. And notice the fingers I'm using. I would recommend using the fingers that I am. If you can do the whole step patterns with a 1, 3, 4, then go for it. I think these lower ones, it's just easier for me to go like this than like this. So that was the one on the B. Okay, and then I just move up a string and do the exact same one on the high E string. So 8 to 5, 7, 8, 7, 5. Then we're at the home stretch now because it's the last one. And what we're doing 
is we're just in back to a full step, full step shape. We're doing seven pull off three, which is the same pattern as the first one that we did. But we're now on the B string. Hammer on five, hammer on seven, pull back off to five, back to three. And that is the full lick. You just end on, if you're playing out of the key of G, end on a G note somewhere, doesn't really matter. Or if you're playing out of the key of D, like if you're doing D Mixolydian. And on a D. So that's the legato lick. I will play the whole thing slow here at the very end. And um, I'll put tabs up with each part as I'm playing it slow for the first half of it. So the second half is going to be up to you guys. So here it is, nice and slow. for the video. Hope it helps you guys. Um, like I said, I only picked the first note on it. You can pick notes when you change strings if you want. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just easier for me to kind of just kind of go with it. So that's just kind of the way that it works for me. Um, but it will really, really build a strong legato for you. And that's a really nice tool to have like when you're playing or just jamming or just kind of come with a lick. You know, maybe it's something that you just can't pick, so then maybe you gotta bust out some, some legato runs or something. So, hope you guys like it. If you would, subscribe and keep rocking, pretty much. <laughs> so, I will see you guys with the next video. Peace out, and thank you for watching. Like that? Blurry peace fingers. That's the way we roll. Bye, guys. <laughs>